Hi, here we are at uh, Victoria University in Melbourne. We've got the wonderful Maddie here. She's a massage student. Obviously, I've had the pleasure of teaching her. And we're gonna look a little bit at neck pain. So before we start that, it's always really important that you look at the physical assessment. So we're gonna do some range of movement testing really quickly with her. Then we're gonna introduce a couple of techniques to try and free up that range of movement. And then we'll obviously recess after that. All right, so the first thing for Maddie is we need to get a little bit of thoracic extension. Terrific. And let's just get you to come down from your chin down to your chest for us, Maddie. Okay, whereabouts are you feeling that? Okay, just in the upper part. All right, now come back up, turning around to the left for us. Yep, whereabouts are you feeling that? Yep, same spot. So in the upper on the right hand side and then coming around to the right. Okay, you're feeling that in the upper part as well there. Okay, terrific. Now let's just come down to lateral flexion. Yep, not much there. Not ideal. And then come down that way. Yeah, you should have better lateral flexion than that. All right, so we can see straight away that she's got some restriction here in the upper part of her cervical spine. So let's get her down on the table. We'll do a little bit of assessment in terms of seeing what the joints are like, and then we can hone in on some of these soft tissues that are restricted. All righty. Okay, Maddie, let's get you to come and lie down here for us. Now, the great thing about doing work on the neck is that we get to sit down for a change of therapist, so I absolutely love that. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna take Maddie's head and just get you to relax there, Maddie. Terrific. And I'm just gonna put my fingers over her transverse processes and just move backwards and forwards in an oscillating effect. So what that does is just test how the joints are. So if she's really restricted in those joints, it'll be really jammy on one side, but she's got really good movement through both of those. So that lets me know already that it's all soft tissue. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at all this tissue in the upper half of this cervical spine. So we've got obviously the upper traps there. And if we come underneath the upper traps, we've got that splenius muscles up there. So splenius capitis and down a little bit lower is splenius cervicus. So these are the areas we're going to work. But what we're gonna do different here is we're gonna challenge this tissue. We're gonna work through some range of movement. So that's the beauty of this technique. All right, so a little bit of pre-max. So once again, we're gonna use the cream for this. When we're using the lotion, which is obviously a lot more slippery, that's obviously where we can work larger areas. But because we're being specific, that's where the cream comes into its own. So I'm gonna come down and underneath, okay? Sorry, Maddie. Okay, so we'll apply a little bit of the cream. Okay, so now this is where we come in start to challenge this range of movement. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna do a combination. I'm gonna come into a little bit of lateral flexion and then we're gonna come into some rotation at the same time, okay? So engage the tissue, lateral flexion, and then rotation. That's the technique there, okay? So here we go. All right, Maddie, you just give me, give me an idea of the pressure if it's too much. So I'm sinking in underneath that upper trap Okay, so I'm going to come into a little bit of lateral flexion and then we're going to bring in some rotation as well. Just challenge that tissue. Okay, once again, engage, lateral flexion, and then rotation. Okay, and we just keep that process up. And as I come up into that range of movement in that upper part here, I can feel it's quite, that's the area where it's most restricted. So we can just add little teasing strokes of rotation while she's in that lateral flexion. How's that feel there, Maddie? Yes, fine. Not too deep? No. Good. All right, so it's a very simple technique, but what we're doing is we're being really specific about where we're targeting. Okay. All right, that looks good. All right, let's get Maddie up. We'll quickly just check her range of movement and see how much of a difference we've made. All right, up you get, Maddie. So straight away, let's get a little bit of thoracic extension. That's great. All right, so let's go around into left rotation for us. Okay, how's that feel there? Yep, good. And around to the right. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's much better. All right, and let's go into that look. Okay, see how that's opened up that lateral flexion? That's really, really nice. Okay, so that's just one technique. We've got a series of techniques we're also, we're gonna add to this. So, if you even remotely enjoyed some of that content, please do me a favor and hit the like button below, just so that I know that you did enjoy it. Also, if you don't wanna miss out on any of the content that we put up on a regular basis, then the best way to do that is obviously just to hit the subscribe button. So. It's a bit of a no-brainer. But most importantly, if you really want to see the true show, the real show, take the opportunity, hit the link below, stuarthines.com. That's where we have all the comprehensive assessment treatment of a whole range of conditions. That's where we have our online courses and obviously our mentoring and so forth, the webinars and our podcasts. So if you're even remotely, remotely interested in what we do, Go and check it out, appreciate it, but also, most importantly, again, just be awesome at what you do.